right at the top there. You can see inside here, this is the hydraulic tank on this side. Right here, that's where all the fluid goes. Looks like I'm low right now. I could add a little bit more in there, but it's got all the fluid in here now. I tried to find something we would all kind of recognize, and here we go. This is a, uh, a standard can of Red Bull. A lot of people know this product. It's not sponsored by Red Bull, of course, just something we can all identify with. And against the back of this huge all metal truck, this thing weighs 220 pounds, is all hydraulic driven uh, and electric. I shouldn't say all hydraulic, the dump is uh, hydraulic. Powerful rams there, uh, running two uh, brushless ESCs and brushless motors for the uh, back tires. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. So you can see for scale, this thing is actually quite enormous. It's kind of really hard to, to show the scale of this machine. Every time somebody sees it in person, they're like, holy smokes, that thing is, is huge. <laughs> you can see my son's Traxxas TRX4 sitting right there compared to this behemoth. Um, you know, we can literally have people take rides around in this thing. A lot of people have been asking me to do like an up close and personal to show what this truck is all about. Um, there's very little about it online uh, and I've had some great success with my truck so far and I thought I'd just kind of show you how it works. Okay, that's better for the amount of light that I needed. And hey, it's pretty cool to see this thing raise and uh, lower under hydraulics. I'm just pushing up on my controller. I'm gonna show you something very neat here. So all the way down in the front, you can uh, run a LiPo battery right in here. If you throw a standard 5000 milliamp uh, hour 3S LiPo in here, you get about five minutes of run time. This giant machine takes a lot of power to run, but they have given you the ability to run a 12 volt battery. This is a smaller wheelchair battery I have in here. I painted it black, um, but you can put a, all, a full size car battery in here. I think depending on the on the on the uh, the size of the battery of course you can get all different sizes but you do have the ability to put quite a large one in here uh, the 80 amp hour uh, cycle I have on this one gives me about 30 minutes of runtime comfortably uh, and I've only done a few minor changes to the stock setup here itself this uh, these bars I just painted black few accents I painted black as well just trying to make it my own uh, and uh, really really simple but let's get into uh, taking this uh, front off and having a look at the steering first I'll unplug it I did make a, a wire connector so I could just uh, directly plug it into the battery uh, right here charge it up easy with an adapter Sliding down my cable wires. There we go. Here's where the battery comes out. I have it Velcroed in there because this has no suspension, much like the full-size ore mining trucks. There it is. Ta-da! It's basically like a giant robot, a rover. Here is a nice up close look at the steering. There is the motor and ESC itself, steering controller I should say. 
Let's wrap around so you can see those steering arms and steering rods. Maybe I can give you a better view over here. So far, mine has been really good with speed. I haven't had any broken gears. Oh, there goes my cat. There's my, how are ya? <laughs> Watch where you're going. <laughs> Watch where you're going, eyes on the road. Put in a small 5,000. <laughs> Definitely takes the power. Look at that, even on the 5000 with a small, uh, what's the C discharge on that? 25C discharge. You want to just run the pump by itself and then you can run everything else with it. Weird. My autonomous wheelbarrow. Who are you? Me? Yeah. You're awfully close to me. Who are you? Do you want to go for a ride in this dump truck? Yeah. <laughs> Show them how it's done. <laughs> you voluntarily are doing this? This is my favorite RC. I love this thing. This is your, this is your, when we go into it, I will always, always ride in the back. You like this RC? Uh, no, no, I don't. I love this RC. <laughs> Morris? Yeah? You're going to try and drive an RC while you're being driven in an RC? First time ever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. RC squared. Good, RC squared. Good luck. Three, two, one, forward first. Let's go for a ride, guys. Backrest makes it. Yes, is it better now? Oh, the backrest, I'm telling you. <laughs> you have a removable cushion. <laughs> you do. He's doing remarkable for piloting an RC while being in an RC. He finds regular driving boring. Turn you around for <laughs> Better? <laughs> Bring it back. There you go. It's He's steering behind him. That's amazing. It's the perspective that we're really doing here. I love it. It's pretty much the definition of awesome. Yeah, you're, you're leading, but then you're also leading. Now driving the dump truck in reverse while driving an RC. I actually never learned how to drive it, so it's going to be a minute. Take a minute. Oh, that is difficult. Driving in reverse. Good job. It's like a forklift. It takes a little finesse. Ha, ha, ha.